Hi again, this is James from World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the grill on your World War II Willis MD or Ford GPW. All you need are a few simple tools, 916 wrench, a socket wrench, and a screwdriver. There are nine bolts around the outside of the grill and the screwdriver is just to remove the electrical wiring connected to the headlights and the blackout lights. The headlights, the blackout lights come off with the grill and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, so let's get under the hood. And uh, as I mentioned, the headlights will come off with the grill and we need to disconnect those from the electrical buses and from the fenders. All right, next, from the underside of the fenders, you need to re remove three bolts. Again, these are 9 sixteenths. There's one up here, two, three. We'll tackle this one after those are removed. course make this go faster you can always use your impact wrench Okay. Moving to this one in the bottom front right here, uh, I suggest you throw a wrench underneath and use your socket from the inside. On this one I've been able to manage the tight space and so far I'm avoiding having to get my wrench inside the engine compartment. But uh, now the bolt is spinning so I'll, I'll hold it down with one hand and inch this nut off. And now we'll repeat the process on the right side. Feeling the grill loosen up. Okay, 
back to this guy. Also might help if you have a box wrench instead of open end. It's a little bit of a tighter space, but it works. Oh, cool. I always like finding these. There's a little F stamp from the original Ford frame on this motor pool Jeep. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get that bolt all the way out and then we'll tackle the last one. Okay, last bolt right here in the middle of the grill. Um, you know, some I think some of these vehicles may use half inch bolts, but most of them are going to be 9 16 And I'm sure you can figure that part out. For the moment of truth. There we go. Grill removed. Take a look. You have now access to more of the engine compartment and your radiator. And if necessary, you can remove the fenders, which we'll save for another time. Hope you guys liked the video. Pretty easy to do. Subscribe to the channel and we'll keep showing you more. See you next time.